Listen, this video right here, I'm going to say exactly how I feel. I don't really give a damn how nobody feel about it. Let me say this. All you black men, you shucking and jiving Uncle Tom, bought ass slave niggas. That's doing all that dancing for all those multimillionaire white men. You just set your black ass up there, grinned and laughed at them after they gave you a record deal. Fuck this sucked on them. Let a motherfucking videotape you. Turn you out like a punk at a penitentiary. And all you motherfuckers was cool with it. Until Diddy got exposed. But there's no need for everybody to start coming along talking about what the fuck y'all knew. Because let me tell you what the fuck I feel like. Because I been dancing around this motherfucking issue because I really didn't want to make this video. But I'm going to say it because it needs to be said. You black men that participated in all that bullshit, y'all some motherfucking cowards. How the fuck y'all going to sit up there and all of a sudden get a conscience? You get in the record industry. A bunch of bum ass black dudes that came from nothing. Get around the white people. The same slave master that had our ancestors fucking and sucking when they couldn't do nothing. They couldn't say no. They had to fucking suck them white people because that's what they had to do. Now don't start calling me racist because I'm not racist. I'm calling this shit for what the fuck it is. The slave masters was white. Just like those executives nine times out of ten are white. And I got a lot of white friends. So I don't want no motherfucker. Every time somebody black start talking about race, y'all say it's racism. No, I'm going to tell you what the fuck it is. Legalized slavery is what you niggas that was over there fucking and sucking them white boys. Y'all done let them rich white men turn y'all out. But when you get around white people and listen to the way they talk about you niggas, then y'all will stop doing that. But it's too late. See, you thought then, oh, we just some black boys. Nobody will find out. Because you niggas never thought y'all was going to get this rich. Who would ever imagine 20 years ago that a black dude from the hood could become a billionaire? The same way the slaves never thought that they would even be able to go to, a, none of their ancestors would be able to get a chance to go to school. I live next to none of these white people. Let me say something you motherfuckers not gonna like. White and black. Black people got melanated skin. To the point where they picking up these motherfucking kids out of the ghetto where I'm sitting there right now. They going through this motherfucking white vans picking up our kids. All of a sudden everything you turn around is melanin. It's melanin in this lotion and melanin in this. What the fuck is they getting melanin from? We're the only motherfuckers that got a lot of it. So either they picking up some motherfucking people, digging up people's graves and taking the skin off their body, or they picking up some motherfucking live kids, skinning their ass to death. The same way they put them kids in the motherfucking vans over there in Russia. And bring them over here and make them be sex slaves. This big business. And you dumbass niggas can't see that? But y'all want to sit there and talk about that. Now, let me tell you this. Nick did he need to put, uh, be put under the jail. But you coward ass niggas. Did he didn't make you motherfucking niggas get on no videotape and make y'all fucking suck? I'm going to tell you what happened, in my opinion. The same way he took his ass over there with Harvey Weinstein. Jay-Z was over there with Harvey Weinstein. Usher was over there. Michael B. Jordan. That motherfucker Cuba Gooden Jr. And Ildris Eber are people that I've seen on pictures with him. You could Google the shit. I don't know if they was over there fucking that white man or not. But guess what? The hip-hop community and MGM. I'm talking about the motherfucking, uh, not MGM. The movie houses, Lionsgate and all them people. Lionsgate don't have nothing to do with them. I'm using them as a term of... Reference in the move for us movie houses. Never heard nothing about the people at Lionsgate. Disney and the rest of the pedophilic accused uh, people that's been accused of pedophilia activity activities are with child stars. 
Let all us turn that motherfucking head and the blind eye. Because we weren't living in that lifestyle. How the fuck would we know what the fuck they over there doing? But Orlando Brown been telling y'all for years, y'all would have called him crazy. He was a handsome little kid. What the fuck happened to Webster, Emmanuel Lewis? What the fuck happened to Gary Cole before he died? What the fuck happened to all the rest of them? Data Plato and all the people that was um, on TV back in the 80s. You coward ass niggas went over there fucking and sucking them white dudes. They turned y'all young ass out. Gave y'all niggas some money that you ain't never seen before. And you niggas wanted to start sucking and fucking sucking dick. And then you thought one of them motherfuckers gonna find out about it. So that's why you niggas don't like black women. You don't like black women because you motherfuckers did the same thing them slaves did. That's why don't, when you motherfucking bitches be on TV talking, she's a pick me. You motherfuckers so dumb. Y'all don't even know that mean. That's the same motherfucking thing slaves had to do. Put their motherfucking arm up and say, pick me. You think they want to be out there picking up cotton in the motherfucking 100 degree weather. Or you think they want to go out there and suck a white motherfucking private pot. And stand in the arcades and eat some of that homemade pie. You niggas ain't nothing but more than some bought, bought motherfucking slaves. Some pawns. The same way they had to pump Rod Stewart or whichever one of the motherfucking white rock stars they had to pump their stomach a long time ago because the nigga had so much nut in him. Why the fuck would you think if you fuck some white some man, some white man, he wants you to nut in him? So they can get some of this melanin by any means necessary. They know that shit make them live longer, allegedly. They know that shit make them, make their kids. That's why all these motherfucking kids are you doing the DNA. How the fuck some white kids, that's full-blooded white kids, ended up in 2020, 2015 with some motherfucking black in them? Y'all nut is strong. Y'all DNA is strong. They know the motherfucking white race is going to be extinct sooner or later. But you dumbass niggas so money hungry, y'all want to go over there fucking these white dudes. Meek Mill got a motherfucker letting him jump up and down, but he called himself a gangster. And all these niggas that condone that gangster shit, how the fuck a gangster putting up some motherfucking white walking shots for a bunch of white dudes and jumping up and down so his dick can jump up and down. But y'all call this nigga a gangster. I don't give a fuck how many bodies that nigga got. He's still a motherfucking punk. Just like the rest of you niggas. Little baby, he'll motherfucker hit her. He can't weigh down here when he let a black motherfucker press him. But he got two white motherfuckers in between him, laughing and grinning with his big ass t-shirt. You niggas should be ashamed of y'all motherfucker self. You want every motherfucking thing easy. How the fuck you go from eating some spaghetti with hot dogs, nigga? Some motherfucking mayonnaise and syrup sandwiches, niggas? Watching your mama get food stamps, nigga? To selling yourself out. I got a whistle because somebody came to my life. To selling yourself out. For a white man? The same one that enslaved our people? The same one that used to fuck our mamas? And our grandmamas? Well, not technically our mothers, but the women in our race? And I'm going to tell you something else you niggas that I go like. Every time they got a dark skin, a big country ass black man on TV talking real bad about white people. I don't know what the fuck you're talking bad for. You not they pick. You know who the pick of these motherfuckers is? The same one they're going to give a job to. The same black man they're going to give a motherfucking job to. You got to be, if you're dark skinny and little, you got to be dark skinny and little like, and I'm not saying Kevin Hart, I like Kevin Hart, but so you got to be dark skinny and short, but not too big, not too bulky, not too, not too skinny. You got to be that type of dark skinny dude. That'll look good in a suit. If you're tall and slim, you can look like Jay-Z, ugly ass. You skinny, they want to make you out a woman. You got to be skinny and little like motherfucking um, little baby. Like the nigga that's what that put some money in his pocket. Or whatever the fuck the dude did. Y'all tell me he wrong. No, he did it to let know you acting like a bitch. So I'm going to give you some money like a bitch. That's why everybody keep throwing money at them niggas. Whoever they hire in corporate America is the same one that's going to become successful in this motherfucking game they playing. Look at Diddy. He kind of fat now, but back then he was dark skinned with a little bow, a box haircut and kind of slender. 
He not a nice looking dude. He not attractive at all. But he very he used to be very well kept. Like one of the metrosexual ass dudes. And I talk about sexuality, meaning a very well clean, a clean cut looking guy. Fonsworth Bentley. A nigga that looked like him, they going to get picked. I'm not saying he was with that group. I'm just saying he going to get picked by them anyway. See, attractive black man going to get picked at all times. Long as he not fat. They like black men in corporate America to, to, to look the same way. They like them niggas when they fucking them and put them in this entertainment industry. Y'all don't like what I'm saying, but I'm telling you what the fuck it is. I ain't got to make up nothing. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know nothing about no motherfucking Illuminati. But I got a lot of motherfucking friends that's rich for real. I'm around white motherfuckers with real money. And they not in no motherfucking entertainment industry. And they do the same motherfucking thing with these black dudes. But be on the down low. And they simply talk about you niggas. They can't understand how y'all don't take care of y'all motherfucking kids. They can't understand how y'all be out there beating on y'all women. They have no motherfucking respect for black men. Y'all see up there praise that motherfucker Denzel watching like he's somebody? That nigga ain't nobody. He'll owe Uncle Tom shucking and jiving ass nigga too. That nigga be way down here with some niggas I know. He'll make that motherfucking punk ass Steve Harvey. With that other nigga that live here. Y'all keep on putting these motherfuckers on a pedestal. These niggas are motherfucking fruits and some motherfucking punks. So what they do, that y'all gonna let these white boys turn y'all niggas out like Diddy did. Allegedly like Jay-Z did. You can't see that old foodie ass nigga. I don't give a fuck that nigga billionaire or not. Y'all act like these niggas. This is what I don't understand. How the fuck you niggas talking about y'all gang members and y'all gangsters, but y'all scared to say something about these food ass niggas? See, that's what the problem is. I'm going to give a fuck if I did some shit that's so disgusting. You're not going to blackmail me. You're not going to make me be ashamed. You niggas are men. I'm going to give a fuck you suck 15 niggas dicks. Nigga, so what? You going to let a motherfucker shame you into condoning and sitting back watching a motherfucker do some sick shit that can get you sent to jail for the rest of your life, you coward ass niggas? You gonna let a nigga tear you out and make that make you out of a bitch? That's why gay niggas don't respect you black men that's bisexual, that be in the entertainment industry. The real gay niggas, they don't respect you motherfuckers because they feel like you niggas are some bitches. Y'all can't defend black women because you motherfuckers mad at us. You went over there and let a nigga treat you like a bitch. So once you got picked by the white boys, you're like, oh, I don't like you, bitch. You can't do nothing for me. I don't need you. Because you cry, baby, that nigga want to blame your mama for not making you out a man. But you niggas fucking and sucking because y'all like to fucking suck. You want a nigga to fuck you because the white boys turned you out. And the ones that didn't get turned out by the black dudes, white dudes, you done went over there and let niggas like Diddy allegedly get you high and drunk. Why the fuck is you at a party getting high any motherfucking way? Why the, if you start powder, nigga, why the fuck is you start some powder that you didn't see a motherfucker take out the pack? Y'all gonna talk and y'all wanna motherfucking talk. Cause y'all keep acting like I'm some kind of motherfucking lame. I'm not no motherfucking lame. I know what the fuck going on. And I don't have to be in the, in the music industry. This shit happened in everyday life. The same shit you niggas do to bitches. Y'all wanna put some shit in the bitch drink. Y'all wanna put some motherfucking finny and some motherfucking coke and make a bitch snorty. You wanna put some shit on your dick and make a bitch snort it off while y'all trying to turn a bitch out. Put some shit up her nose while a motherfucker sleep. Y'all wanna talk, nigga? Y'all wanna motherfucking talk? Fuck y'all think y'all talking about all in my comments. Get mad because I'm saying something about a motherfucking nigga from this city. They say they a gang member. You know how many motherfucking gang members go to jail and be fucking with gumps? Fucking and sucking these niggas. Or they'll get a nigga that's from jail that they did 15, 20 years, put them on their motherfucking side and be fucking the shit out of them. Pay attention. But this is what y'all need to know. Motherfuckers don't give, I don't give a fuck. And I know motherfucking females I'm around. Them niggas, them bitches don't give a fuck if you niggas fucking with punks because they already know. 
But y'all niggas need to stop blaming black women, calling us bitches and hoes, because y'all done went and fucked the motherfucking nigga, fucked them white boys and got used like a pawn. But then a bitch like me come along around one of them motherfucking white dudes, and they want to pay me like a slot machine. And put me on a motherfucking pedestal. And put me in their motherfucking neighborhoods. And motherfuckers like us. Y'all mad because the rich white niggas go fuck y'all and kick y'all off and throw y'all back into the... Oh, go on, go on, with the rest of the black people. We through dealing with you, nigga. I'm going to fuck your bitch now. Oh, I guess I'm going to take care of your baby. Black women becoming millionaires way faster than any other race. Because the white boys have figured it out. David Boy figured it out a long time ago. That nigga was hella bisexual, allegedly. And still married a mine. All these black and white rock stars been bisexual. My parents said back when they were doing Studio 54, Club 54, whatever the fuck it was called. A oh, Club 54 down here. Since Studio 54. They been snorting powder. That's what they used to do. Any motherfucking dope. Let me tell you this. From where I'm at, any, all these niggas that was pimps, these old niggas like my daddy age, these niggas said they had wife and laws. And all the bitches lived in the house together. Some of the bitches was jewelry thieves. Some of the bitches was boosters. Some of the bitches fucked. And some of these motherfucking pimps, they pimp hoes because they don't like niggas. The average pimp fuck with punks in the penitentiary. The average pimp, when they go to the penitentiary, they fuck with punks. And they play the motherfucker. That's why I always say gumps. Because that's one of them punks. The motherfucking pimps call them punks. They be pimping the niggas in the penitentiary. And get out here and fuck the shit out of a bitch. But guess what? Some be a pimp that fuck with a pump. That's going to let a motherfucking blackmail them. Or extort them. It's not going to happen. The niggas be like, nigga, fuck that. Because they been to fuck you niggas too. Y'all think these straight niggas that's hanging around some motherfucking pimps? You can see how these niggas hold their motherfucking hands. These pimp niggas that y'all think is gangsters. You can see how, the way they hold their motherfucking hands. And they always turning their neck like a bitch. These niggas don't like pussy the same way you niggas don't like pussy. You niggas some bought, some hand-pick ass modern day slaves for these crackers. And y'all should be ashamed of y'all motherfucking self. The motherfuckers that sat around and watched Diddy, they need to start a motherfucking indictment, a motherfucking Rico choice for not sex trafficking, for running a criminal sexual organization. And then put a bunch of art in this. Because all you motherfuckers want to go on a podcast and start, let me tell you what Diddy did. Let me tell you what Jay-Z did. And then y'all want to turn back around and say, y'all pimps? Is you bitches and niggas out y'all motherfucking mind? You niggas, y'all really think the government give a fuck about... Let me tell you something. Do y'all really think the motherfucking government go protect y'all because motherfuckers leaking information telling y'all or say, like we wouldn't really believe y'all was in that motherfucking circle. Y'all some motherfucking plants. Some pines. They using y'all black people to do all these interviews to tell every motherfucking thing that's going on. Y'all motherfuckers, some of y'all probably weren't even there. And y'all was there selling, tricking these hoes. And y'all think what that, that make y'all better? Y'all know everything about everybody motherfucking business. But you mean to tell me y'all want sucking pussy and sucking dick? Bitch, please. Nigga, please. You coward motherfuckers. Y'all did Diddy a, a, a scrawny ass nigga. That's a weak ass Catholic school boy ass, wanna be hood ass nigga. The nigga walk like a bitch, talk like a bitch, and keep on beating on bitches. He don't have to beat your niggas because he took that motherfucking education to a bunch of black dudes from the hood that didn't know no better. Just like this nigga Mace. Just like Mason Cameron. All of a sudden, this nigga was hard in the world. He, Y'all don't really know me. Y'all don't really know me. That nigga was jumping around like a woman, just like Diddy. Go Google the video when them niggas had on the green shiny suit, so he moving his hips to the side. He a bitch just like Diddy is. And just like Cameron. See, that's the thing. I don't give a fuck you niggas is killers or not. You niggas some punk ass, coward ass niggas. How the fuck y'all know what the fuck Diddy was doing? Why the fuck y'all niggas ain't married? That nigga Mace was married, said he was a preacher, got a divorce. But he always telling something. I always talking about God. The same thing the motherfucking Catholic priests do when they go fuck a motherfucking kid. Go pray and make a motherfucker talk about Mary or somebody. 
He not no different than the rest of the motherfucker than that pastor that was down there in Texas doing something. See, I'm not saying he can fuck with kids. I'm just saying. You study getting money from a nigga, crying like a little bitch. Let me tell you what Diddy did. You think a motherfucker can't see every time you done run out of money, you running over there trying to tell something on Diddy? That nigga should have smacked that shit out of you a long time ago like the bitch that you are. But he's so scared of Benny. Diddy's so scared of everybody knowing he was gay. What motherfuckers been knowing he was gay? That's why I know he a coward ass nigga. Because the first time one of you niggas would have pressed a real nigga, that nigga would have made sure you didn't get a chance to press nobody else. But all y'all motherfuckers still walking around talking about all the people Diddy uh, that came along with Diddy that's no, not living. Only motherfucker that keep on coming up missing is a bitch. Y'all niggas still living and breathing. Because y'all niggas still probably going over there fucking and sucking on that nigga. That's why y'all always say motherfuckers love me. That nigga got y'all out here losing y'all motherfucking mind, spilling the beans. I hope, I motherfucking hope the same government, in my opinion, that's always somewhere around when a bunch of black motherfuckers is super rich and then they end up figuring out a way to get all their motherfucking money back for you niggas. Fuck y'all, suck y'all, put it y'all on some porn, turn y'all out to some shit. Anything to keep the motherfucking black man from multiplying and having kids and keep this strong ass melanin. They gonna keep on fucking you niggas. Cause one thing about men, you niggas could fuck five bitches in one day and get all of them pregnant the same day. So imagine what a motherfucker could do with some of y'all nut up in them. 